bent the top of my spine so now I can see the golf ball. I can even put the club behind it. But my spine's in such an odd position, you just can't swing and make contact with the ball. All right, well done. Go ahead and hit it. You earned it. If you hit another good one, I'm gonna charge you. I was editing this video and had to stop right here and inject and point out the great posture this guy has. Look at the line down his back and the line down his thighs and his upper legs. See the intersection of those red lines? See how straight his back is? See how he's got his head and chin up above his shoulder level? See how his hips are flexed? See how his spine is tilted down towards the golf ball, yet his knees are flexed. And if we could be right there, he would be very firm and in a good balanced position. This posture is wonderful. This is the posture the golfer should be in just before he begins his backswing. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. By George, I think that one went no. I had a guy yesterday, he phoned me this morning to change a golf lesson. He said, oh, by the way, I had a hole in one yesterday after our golf lesson. Oh my gosh. Huh? Hey. Stability and consistency in the golf swing begins with the lower body. In the golf swing, I'm a right-handed golfer. In the golf swing, I do not want my left foot to ever move. This is deadly, watch this. If on your backswing, you pick that left heel up and then rotate that knee way over, that allows you to get your body. Watch my hat, watch how far my hat moves laterally. When you start moving laterally that much, in order to deliver the club back to the ball, you've gotta move your shoulders and arms back to their original position, don't you? Well, that becomes a trick and Truly, it's something that just can't be done with consistency. So, if you want to be a consistent golfer, get in your good posture and lock that left foot to the ground. Just like somebody bolted your shoe to the ground with 25 bolts. Take the club back and you'll feel a little rotation of your foot in your shoe maybe. But that, that shoe and foot aren't doing anything. Then, after you hit the golf ball, you'll, your body will rotate and you'll feel the back side of your uh, body coming around and it'll just turn that right toe right up on its, right up on its toe. This is a uh, continuous motion waist high to waist high drill and we'll talk about some of the purposes of it in a minute. So go ahead and get in your posture, get your arms straight and I want you to observe because this is what I'm going to want you to do in a minute. What are my feet doing? Nothing. What's the top of my hat doing? Nothing. Are my arms straight or are they crooked? Straight. How many times have I missed the ground going either way? Zero. Okay, you do that. Oh, you little bit little working at that. Don't stop, don't stop. You're working at it a little too hard. Slow it down a little bit. Let your wrist cock just a little more. Slow it down just a little more. Now you, you can see that once you got into the, into the rhythm of it, it's pretty easy, isn't it? Okay, stop. Get ready. Now with just a little bit longer swing than you used just now, Hit that ball with that same motion that you just practiced. Hmm, I don't believe that was it, was it? Back up, do the continuous motion drill about five cycles. Stop, I was watching, you hit the ground in exactly the same spot every time. When you struck this ball a moment ago, you hit the ground way back here. So let's just hit the ground, right, just like that continuous motion drill, right where the ball is. All right, you still, you still hit behind it, you hit the enemy. Okay, here's, if you're striking the ground before you hit the ball, here's two or three things you can do. Look at me, bend your knees, take the bottom of your spine backwards. Now look at me. You do not want your head leaning this way. 
and yours was slightly. You want your head, you want your cervical vertebra and your sternum and spine just in a line, right? And then, right before you hit the ball, lean left. And that gets you away from back here, right? It makes it harder to hit the ground first. Hit it with your left arm. Well, by George. How did I know that would work? So here's what you were doing. Look at me. Just before you were striking the ball, you were leaning your head back, and that was just putting you in grave danger of hitting the ground too soon. So in order to avoid that, look at me, please. Just take your body, especially your upper body, and just lean to the left. And now your shoulders, and that's where your arms are hooked on, right? They're hooked onto your shoulders, and you're hooked onto the club by your hands. When you move your shoulders that way, it gets the club farther away from here, and you're far less likely to strike the ground before you strike the ball. Hit it. Well, bye, George. Hope you enjoyed this second video. Barney Beard's Guide to Golf Volume 2 and Volume 3 to follow this one deal with the fundamentals of ball striking and very important. Hope you enjoyed it. We looked at holding the club correctly. You got to hold the club right. Hold it correctly and you'll swing well. Hold it poorly and you'll swing poorly. But no in between. Then we looked at stance and balance. You got to stand pretty much right. You got to stand in a biomechanical neutral position and you got to be balanced. You got to have weight more on your heels, right under your legs where your legs join your foot at the heel. If you've been interested in the video and you enjoyed it, you can go to my website, then go to my golf tips page, which will take you to my golf tips blog. And there you can read to your heart's content many, many, many articles I have about many different things about golf. And there's a little section there, a little box at the bottom right hand corner of the opening page where you can click follow. And then you can sign up. Every time I write a new blog, it'll be sent straight to your email. Appreciate you taking the time to view this video.